Hello, saints of God. I, I, <clears throat> I'm going back on here today because God gave me a word. What day was that, Father? It was yesterday morning. That's one of the reasons why I didn't uh, come on yesterday. God was really speaking that uh, yesterday morning. He said so many things. And so I wasn't going to say this because I thought it was for me and me alone. Um, I'm not a person that likes to piggyback on somebody else's information or stuff, stuff that somebody else has said. Um, unless God says teach on it or expound on certain things or stuff like that. But I, I, I follow this young lady on uh, on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Instagram uh, by the name of uh, Cadence Daniel. And her video today kind of it stuck out to me, not because of uh, just the way that God is using her in the particular video, but what she's speaking of in the video. And God, uh, my God. God gave me a word about this very thing yesterday. I'm like, Lord, because I, like I said, I thought it was just for me, but, and so I was going to hold it and keep it and just kind of meditate on it. But God said, go ahead and release this word again, only because of what I saw of his one, his prophets, uh, apostle, uh, Cadence Daniel. And, uh, so it's going to kind of, uh, confirm everything she was saying, even to her hope if she sees this particular video. So, God said yesterday morning, uh, which was, let's see, what date was that? It was uh, January 31st, right? It was around maybe 9, maybe 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, anywhere from 9 to 11 o'clock in the morning. God was speaking to me. And he said, this is what the Lord says. He said, exposure is coming to who and what that has been stopping the wealth transfer then God will, will force the release. That's not pertaining to what I'm going to talk about, but I am, I did, uh, he, he did allow me to say that. So there's an exposure coming to who and what has been uh, 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 hindering the saints of God from receiving their wealth transfer completely. Glory to God. And God is going to force it to be released, to force the wealth transfer to be released. But what I'm really here to say is, what God spoke to me yesterday morning concerning uh, those that copycat and try to get the words of, of people that really spend time with the Lord, that hear words of the Lord, they take it and then they 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 monetize it. They're they're monetized, so they get those words and they they receive a portion of, of finances from the the words that that God has given you in your in your quiet time. And like uh, Cadence uh, Daniel said. We're not stupid that God can give two people, three people, whatever, people the same word, the same uh, type of word. But when they go so crappy, now in her case, the person copied it word for word, right? But when they, I've noticed that they, and these people are crafty because they know that they know uh, that God is against it. So what they'll do is. And God is like, so God is so strategic. He'll get like, when you're in your prayer time with God and you hear his voice and he wants you to speak a thing or take, talk about a thing, he'll give you specific types of words or a style of saying a certain thing. Right. And so, and you know, it's between you and him. Right. And God is like that. He's strategic like that. Excuse me, guys. Um, and so when you hear these people say those specific words, not just what God is saying, but specific things that you know that you is between you and him. And he says, speak it. You know, they've they've taken something from you, from your intimate time with the Holy Spirit. So but but what these people do now is because they're orators, right? They're orators with a platform, with an influence. Um, and so what they do is they take your word, take what you say and switch it up. And. My God. And so you hear them saying these specific words that God has given you in, in your prayer closet or in your just in intimate, intimate time or in your studying of the word of God. And he'll give you, he'll start speaking and you uh, regurgitate, you re re recite or you, re you, uh, mm, you give that word that God has spoken and here, come a, here comes uh, the thief, the copycat. My God, 
God is not pleased with that. So this is what he said. God said, all, God said, all those that have been copying you, whoever you are, are trying to do what you do will not succeed. It may look like they're succeeding in the natural sense, but in the spirit realm, they are not succeeding. They may get, they may even get monetized. They may even be, have money. It, God said, anytime they still take your word, and they receive a tithe and offering from the word that they've they, that they've gotten from a true prophet or a true person that speaks the word of God. That's your money. That's that's your money. That's your that's your portion that they've been stealing from you. Uh huh. That's why he doesn't like the copycat. That's why God doesn't like uh, spiritual uh, plagiarism because everything that you make off of that word, every offering, every open door, every deal, every anything that you you've gained. From somebody else's word that has spent time with God, that is their stuff. And you are a thief. And you will not succeed at being a thief. You will not succeed. In Jesus' name. What what God has for you, he says, what God says, what he has for you to do can only be done by you. So what he means by that is that when they sit up there mimicking or, 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 or taking the things that God has given you, the same anointing, the anointing of God won't be on it. That anointing, that, that word, that prophecy, that, that gifting, that, oh God, I just hear, I heard that that open door, that door that God opens for you to, to present this word. It can only be done by you. When they try to do it, they may get a, 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 a roaring, uh, from from the crowd, but it's not the anointing of the Most High God. The Lord is not on it. It said He says here because they did not get the assignment, because they did not get the assignment like you did from God. He, he put from God in parentheses because they did not get the assignment. Your kingdom, that kingdom work assignment, that call, that gifting, the prophecy, whatever it is that God is is, is using you to do. Because they didn't get it from God, like you did, however, however God gave it to you. Maybe you had to fast for a day. Maybe you had to, hallelujah, come off of social media for a month. I don't know. However God, you and God, God has a relationship with each and every one of his children. However God gave you that assignment, because they did not get the assignment like you did, it only, it's only going to be the illusion of success. And God does not receive it. And they will go empty handed. Uh huh. Even God says, even if they get a monetary, something monetary out of it in the spirit realm, they are empty in the spirit. God is calling them empty and he's canceling their assignment today. He's canceling right now in the name of Jesus. He's canceling that work against your prophecy. He's canceling that work against your assignment. Glory to God. He's canceling it. Hey. Hallelujah, it's somewhere, hallelujah, in Jeremiah somewhere. And we got people just really reading that scripture like they ain't the ones that, that's, that's doing it too. God see you too. God sees you too. Because See, we're in the season now, uh -huh, thank you Father God for reminding me that. So now, because there's, there's going to be a Holy Spirit exposure, now there's, there's, uh, there are people that, that they're trying to get ahead of that. Um, so they're, what they're doing, what God is revealing to me is that, that, that they're, they're actually doing, so say they're, say they're pre preaching against something or speaking against something or prophesying against something. Some people are actually doing what they're prophesying against. Some people are actually uh, 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 living and doing and, 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 Everything that they're preaching against and, and, and speaking against, they're actually doing it. So they try to get ahead of you. They try to confuse. They try to keep this following because they know this. They know God is exposing. So they're trying to keep this influence and this following because they know you're gonna be be a sheep. You know, you know that once the exposure comes on them, uh huh. They 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 can guarantee you. They know that you're gonna continue to be their sheep. They know that you're gonna continue to follow that because oh, you said it first, right? You said it first, uh huh. So they gonna, so they know you're gonna believe 
they gonna be, they know you're gonna believe what they say, but God is actually exposing them. Glory to God. These people that are preaching on a certain thing, some people, not all. Hallelujah. They're actually doing it. So you have to have the wisdom, the spirit of wisdom, the eyes of God that I talked about earlier in another video that's uploading now. That's taking 20 hours just to upload. <laughs> that's taking forever to upload. Uh, I spoke about that. You have to have the spiritual eyes of God. God sees his spirit. And God sees these fake and false prophets and fake and false preachers and teachers of the gospel. They're fake and phony. They, they've stolen from the real uh, true uh, uh, prophets and, and speakers and, 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 and preachers of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh, they've been stealing. Uh-huh. Jesus said this assignment, uh-huh, this assignment can only be done by you. Their attempts to steal this assignment, to steal your work through God, that God gave you to do. It will fizzle. Their attempts will fizzle out. It will be nothing to before God. Just don't. He said, "Theirs is going to fizzle out." But just, just don't forfeit the assignment because you see them going ahead of you. Because, because, because. See now, okay. See now, when when you're dealing with with false uh, people that that try to use the steal your word, what they know is. Through darkness, through the, through the realm that they're using, that, uh, that 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 when you know you have an assignment for God or in God, and they run out and beat you to it, Hallelujah! And they still in it like Gia's idea, running ahead, of, running ahead of, of, of the prophet, the true prophet of God, it's trying to steal what what uh, uh, God said was the prophet, but the prophet didn't want it at the time. Gia's eye, the spirit of Gia's eye. What they do is they know that's attached to that, that them going ahead of you is attached to an emotion. It's attached to your emotion. So now, because prophets, people that 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 people that are prophets are really sensitive to things of the spirit. They know that spirit is wrong. And so it's attached to your it's attached. When they do that, when they steal from you, when they copycat from you, when they get money from the words that you've received from God in your intimate place. They know that the, 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 the enemy can attach you emotionally, attack you emotionally because of the way God has wired you. God has wired you to be sensitive in the spirit realm. So you know that spirit is wrong. You know that's a, that's a thief, right? And so that's why God says, do not forfeit your assignment because you see them going ahead of you with your assignment. They may, they may be, he said, do not forfeit your assignment, excuse me, because you see them going ahead of you in numbers, in influence, in, in, in popularity, in celebrity, all by your words, all by the things that you speak. These people have brick and mortar. Some of them have, have, have social media platforms that have been stealing the words of, of God's true and uh, 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 men and women of God. God says, it's still yours. Do not forfeit it. Do not lay it down. Do not be discouraged. It's still your assignment. It's still your calling. It's still your gift. See, see one thing about one thing about a loser. Uh huh. That's what God said. I ain't saying that. I don't listen. You do what you, you do what you do, and God's gonna do what He do. One thing about a, a losing spirit. Uh huh. One thing about those that steal. Uh huh. One thing about those that that uh, take intellectual properties and take things that don't belong to them for monetary gain. Uh-huh. They don't understand or don't care to know and to understand that if God can give you, give, give it to you one time, he can give it to you again. He can, he can, he can package it up so well that they, they can't, they won't see it coming. They still living off the fumes of the last thing they stole from you. But God can package you up, package your assignment, package your call, package who he wants you to be. He can package it up so well. Hallelujah. That it throws them off. So do not forfeit your assignment because these people have gone ahead of you. It still belongs to you. It's still what God wants you to do. And God is going to, he's going to, hallelujah, he's going to, hallelujah, he's going to rebuild it too. That was they still, because, because see, a, a thief, when he takes something from you, that means he's torn something down. 
in the spirit. He's he's torn down what you've built in God. Uh huh. This de this devil knows he's crafty, and so now he knows it's gonna take time to rebuild. But God is a he he he's an accelerant. Holy Spirit is an accelerant. He can he can hallelujah. He can he can cause things to excel in your life. He can cause things to be expedient in your life. Excuse me. I believe that's all God is saying in that area. Do not forfeit your assignment. That assignment still belongs to you. Anything that these people get from your assignment is only an illusion of success. And God does not receive it in the spirit realm. They will go empty handed. And God does not know them. Anytime you have to steal a word from a prophet. Because you lack the, the reverence and relationship with God. God does not receive you and he does not know you. You're a liar. You're a thief. You're a thief and you're a liar. And God is not pleased with your assignment, with your false assignment. Your fault, your fake anointing. God is stripping you of your fake anointing, your fake, your illusion of success. He's stripping you of that. The the children of God will receive this true voices. The children of God will receive the true voice of God, and God is stripping you. He's fizzling out. Hallelujah! That fake anointing that you bought, that fake anointing that you stole, or the anointing of the true prophet that you stole is fake before God. And I say these things, not by myself, but by the spirit of the living God. As God lives, hallelujah, these words belong to him. In Jesus' mighty and powerful name, you all be blessed and give God praise. Amen.